this is an upper view of the decoys. The best aerial view I could come up with was off the roof of my house. So I put them out in the front yard and I'm on my roof right now. But this is kind of gives you the idea of what the decoys look like from the top. I think they look great actually. They have good shape, good color, good pattern on them. And they move awesome in the wind. There's only about a one or two mile an hour wind right now, so. On the decoy, at the, on the stake, they have these like clip rings that hold the decoy onto the stake. And it seems to do a really good job. It allows the decoy to spin super freely. Never have to pack them up, turn them in the wind. Um, that I, can't find anything wrong with these decoys as far as I can see for the price that we pay for these things it if you only buy one dozen without any of the discount you're only talking forty dollars a dozen for these things you're talking almost almost half a little over half of what the closest thing you can get to it on the market would cost you and they are made with if not as good just as good of quality as everything else on the market this decoy folds up super small. You can put a ton of these things in one tote, one bag, whatever it is that you store your decoys in. And they're super easy to put up. Pull it up, you're done. Pops up, put it down, you're done. So all you gotta do is pull it out of the bag, pop it up, push it down, you're done. They go on the ground really well. I'll show you that right now. Got this, and you can just Pop them open. Pop them right in the ground, you're done that quick. I mean, I can show you how fast I can pick up all these decoys right here. It's super quick. I'll go ahead and pick up all these decoys right now. picked up I don't know how many I had here but it had to be at least two dozen and it couldn't have taken me more than 30 seconds to pack those up so they go out quick they pick up quick they store in a super small area container I'm telling you you just can't beat these things for the price if you look at the front of the decoys here you can see they have these little rubber pieces right here to keep the decoy mouth open super wide so they catch a ton of air there's literally almost no wind right now at all and they still look completely blown up like like i said a second ago there's probably only one maybe two mile an hour wind right now so these things just open up awesome the backbone system in these decoys you can see it maybe in there They've got a clear plastic tube that runs down the center of the decoy for the backbone. It actually works really, really well. Um, it's not like the fiberglass stake you would normally see in a lot of these uh, collapsible wind socks, but it seems to work great. I've bent it, pulled on it. I'll show you that here in a minute, but it works really good. later on this is the new decoy company out called skyfly decoys a lot of people i've seen people on the forums talking about these and pretty much everyone seems to be too scared to actually order them for fear that they're not going to show up well i went ahead and took care of that and ordered 800 of these and they showed up in no time it took about a week to get them shipped but uh within a week and a half i had them here so there's one there behind me um you can't beat these things for the price we paid with the quantity that we ordered you get a discount by quantity on how much you order and i think we paid twenty four hundred dollars shipped here for 800 decoys which ended up being about i think it ended up right around $34 a dozen. $34 a dozen is almost untouchable with any other decoy 
that I've seen here in the US and these things are great they are as good if not better quality than a lot of the decoys that I've seen here um, they're very similar to some of the other deployable decoys that collapse on the stakes and they go down back up so super easy to pick up put down super durable the Tyvek it seems like very high quality Tyvek it's got uh, the holes in the bottom of it and see if I can show you that you see he's got these the holes in the bottom to drain in case you're in the water in case they get full of water it also has these rings to help hold it open these mouths on these things are just huge to help catch as much wind as possible and they move great so there is one thing I've noticed that's a big difference between these decoys from Skyfly and a lot of the other guys I've seen making decoys or a lot of your bigger name brands when I order these decoys they are a little over half the price of what you can get white rocks or you know a lot of your other brands that are very similar now with the collapsible stake systems on them the difference with this decoy they're way cheaper one of the reasons how I can see that they've done that a lot of people think that they've probably sacrificed quality I don't see that these decoys are great as far as I can tell but one thing I have noticed they do not come in a fancy package they don't come packed in a dozen they don't come wrapped in a awesome five dollar plastic bag and a five dollar printed piece of cardboard with their name on it when you order these you just get them in a plain cardboard box they show up just like this ready to go ready to deploy ready to hunt with you don't have to unpackage a dozen at a time i have no problem with that i'll take the discount any day and get these shipped to me in a plain cardboard box before i pay an extra twenty dollars for the package that the decoy comes in but that's the only thing I've noticed that I can find that make these appear to be any cheaper than any other decoy that I can find on the market. The packaging.